All right, folks, we are back. We got our first Dungeons and Dragons box opening here. We're gonna start with a collector box. And also, we picked this up from our local LGS. Got two uh, buy box promos. Got uh, that cheap uh, that cheap sword right there. Instant win condition right there. And then I was a little confused on this. I thought this was from um, the Dungeons and Dragons set, but this apparently looks like it's from a secret layer. So we also got a cool fabled passage uh, here from the secret layer, a foil. So that was cool. That was the first time I ever got any kind of like buy a box promo or whatever they call it. So let's just go ahead and rip, uh, rip the panties off this thing. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but they don't care what I what I say. I don't, know. I don't have enough followers on here. It seems like uh, reactions to the set early on are pretty negative, which is which is expected. But we are going to form our own opinion. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons before, and then we got a zombie wizard here for the first rare. Grave Endeavor. Okay, so I thought you just had to roll D20s. Looks like we got some D10 rolls in here too, so. Interesting. Sphere of Annihilation. All right, we got Clattering Skeletons. All right, this is, looks like just a common from, uh, looks like a showcase or it's probably what it is. All right, and I think this is, uh, that's awesome. This is uh, one of the better cards in the set here, the Spider Queen. This Plains Walker, Borderless. I do like the artwork on these. Kind of reminds me of the sketch art in Modern Horizons 2. And then, for the next rare, the last rare of this pack, we have Circle of Dreams Druid. And that card might be a problem. I can see that being big in, in Commander. I guess any green deck where you can just generate mana and then... That's a problem for green because you get a lot of stuff on the field very early. All right, then we got a first uh, class card here. Got a bard class, which I guess is... Uh, I got to see how these work. I, I assume you can level them up as many times as you want to on each turn as long as you have the mana. Bag of tricks. Treasure chest. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of, a lot of new mechanics in here. I know there was some concern of how they'll they'll mesh with the game in the future. Got Minion of the Mighty. Oh, it looks like that thing from uh, Doom or Final Fantasy. Oh, it's Homeboy on the on the pack here. And then we got a Wild Mage for the last rare of that pack. All right. So it looks like much like Strixhaven, we got. Uh, I don't know if they're elder dragons, but we have five uh, dragons in this set that seem to have all the all the value and attention right now. I I almost said eye of viscera. Got Mantle of the ancients. True polymorph. High casting cost there. Oh, Manticore. Okay, that that's interesting. There, I guess this is. Uh, one of the alternate art cards here that looks very Dungeons and Dragons-y, if that's a term. Um, oh yeah, I definitely got to learn these mechanics. And then Teleportation Circle. That could be a problem right there, especially in Modern. Anything that comes onto the field with a a, a trigger, that yeah, it's going to be a problem. Skeletal swarming, thorough investigation. The deck of many things. That's, that sounds like one of those like joke cards from uh, whatever that secret layer was. Okay, first dragon here. Oh, just a. Uh... All right, this is just an uncommon, but then we got some dude that looks like the white version of Tefri. And we got another uh, white Tefri there. Cool. And 
Then we got this uh, horror thing here. Rage of Ancients. Lo Loyal Warhound. I do like the, the artwork here. It's a little more retro. I do. Uh, I'm feeling that. Then we got the Human Elf Ranger here. Whatever the hell this thing is. And then Minion of the Mighty. Did we get that one already? Oh, and then this is just, uh, yeah, I got a lot of a lot of things to learn in this set. This looks, uh, okay, that's just the token. I wasn't sure if that was the actual, I guess there are dungeon cards. All right, we got another Hand of Viscera there. That's just what I'm going to call it. Berserker's Fury. Werewolf Pack Leader. So I guess it's going to have some interaction with the Innistrad set that's coming out soon. White. Right, I'm not racist, I swear. That's just, that's just what the card says. And then we have a demon here. Orcus. And we got another white. Extract Brain, another Hand of Viscera, and then, okay, Adult Gold Dragon. Okay, I don't know if this is related to the Gold Span Dragon, or, okay. I don't, I don't think that's one of the Mythic Dragons that we're looking for. Then we got, okay, these are, I guess these are the dungeon cards? I gotta figure this out. I thought that was one of our one of the dragons we were looking for. Hall of Storm Giants. Wind, wind, Wand of Orcus. Then we got another Circle of Dreams Druid here. And then I guess these are okay. Land. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out on my own time. And then the black dragon here. Not a rare, but I'm feeling that artwork. And then this guy looks looks like something here, the beloved ranger, and a paladin. I thought paladins were usually only white, but we got a swamp one there. And there's the there's the doom uh, Final Fantasy thing looking again. Oh, we got to see a planeswalker back there. Then we got Eliwick. Interesting here. Okay, she is a mythic, so I think that's the... I haven't been counting our mythics here, but... Arcane Endeavor. Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Doesn't look like anyone's laughing in that picture. And then we got another dungeon model. Another one, this time a foil. And then homeboy there. Oswald. Guess we will get a price up here. I know the prices are probably inflated right now, but this this set's already been out, I think, for a month. I'm I'm behind on opening it, so we'll uh I just want to see where the prices are. I think we're probably gonna get close to breaking even on the box, which is seems to be the case. Gelatinous cube it reminds me of Wayne's world. And then Triumphant Adventurer. Yeah, I'll probably get two fifty, three hundred dollars worth of value out of this box. I'm thinking from looking at some of the prices, it seems like um, there's really. It kind of reminds me of like a Strixhaven as far as price doesn't doesn't look like there's any big bombs in here, like a Vorinclex or you know any like forty, fifty, sixty dollar card. Wizard Spellbook. Okay, cool. Got an evolve. I like that. I like that Evolving Wilds. Just a common, but I I do. I don't know. Like, I'm feeling that artwork. And then Inferno of the Star Mounts. Okay, so this is one of our uh, one of our dragons here that we're looking for. One of our mythic dragons. And then we got another deck of many things. Last pack. I should probably do a draft with, with this set that way. It's a good way to kind of dive in and learn learn what you're dealing with. 
Skeletal Swarming, and then Dungeon Descent. And then our last card is whatever the hell this thing is. All right, we're definitely going to have more of this coming up. Uh, hopefully get these videos posted up soon.